would it be um, the integral from negative one to three? So again, uh, our books are different. So tell me what your problem number three is. Uh, it's f of x equals x squared minus 4x plus 3. And then it's g of x equals negative x squared plus 2x plus 3. So f of x is x squared minus 4x plus 3. And g of x is minus x squared plus 2x plus 3. Is that correct? Yeah. Which number is this in your book? Number 3. So the first thing, and in your book, does it show you the graph? Yeah. Okay. So you know, so this is a parabola, f of x, going down, the other is a parabola going up. So this is f of x. Uh, is that you? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. You can't be all of those. <laughs> yeah. Yep, we all are. Yeah, yeah. But we're yeah, going no, higher band, so you can't. <sighs> I'm also easy to find. We're all from the same store. Can but, I mean, I can't help that I'm old. <sighs> Okay. Um, so you have to unmute. I muted you because there's some noise. I didn't know where it was coming from. Can you see yeah. the graphs? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and if you look at the graphs, you can tell where these two curves intersect. F of zero is three and g of zero is three. So this is the point x equals zero. This point is, let's see, f of, um, this is just a double check, f of three is nine plus 12 minus 12 is zero. g of three is minus nine plus nine is zero. So this point is three comma zero. So the area is going to be the integral from zero to three, the top minus the bottom. Hmm. So that's the integral from zero to three. When you subtract, you get two x squared minus six x. So this is equal to two thirds x cubed minus three x squared evaluated from zero to two. When x is equal to two, this is eight times two, this is 16 over three minus three times four, which is 12. So let me just double check because something is not correct. So, f of x is, oops, I'm sorry, I did it backwards. Um, f of x is the parabola going up. That's the parabola on the bottom. g of x is the parabola going down. That's the parabola on top. So we're integrating g of x minus f of x. And mm -hmm. And if you take g of x minus f of x, you get minus 2x squared plus 6x dx, which is minus 2 thirds x cubed plus 3x squared from 0 to 3. So 
When x is 3, this is 27 over 3, you get minus 18. 9 times 3 is 27. So I get 9 is the area. Mm, okay, so wait, um, how did you get the negative 2x squared plus 6x? So I'm integrating g of x minus f of x. So you just did a um, negative x squared plus 2x plus 3, subtract x squared oh, minus so minus x squared plus 2x plus 3 minus x squared minus 4x plus 3 is minus 2x squared. 2x plus 4x is 6x. 3 minus 3 is 0. That's just subtracting. Okay. Got it. So then, um, what do we do when there's, there's a, they want you to find the area of two parts of a curve. Which problem? This is five. Uh, this is three times x cubed minus x and zero? Yeah. So we have one curve. I'll write it as y1 is three times x cubed minus x, and y2 is zero. So y2 is just the x-axis. If I factor this, this is 3x, x minus 1, x plus 1. So this cubic curve has zeros at minus 1, 0, and 1. And it looks like that. So in this region, the cubic is above the x-axis. In this region, the x-axis is above the cubic. So the area, let's call this area one, and we'll call this area two. So it's area one plus area two. Area one's the integral from minus one to zero of this function, three, x cubed minus x dx, which is three. The integral of x cubed minus x is x to the fourth over four minus x squared over two from minus one to zero. When x is zero, it's zero. And when x is negative one, it's a fourth minus a half, which is minus a fourth, minus minus a fourth is plus a fourth. So this first area is 3 fourths. And the mm -hmm. second area is the integral from 0 to 1 of the top of 0 minus the bottom. So that's just the integral of minus 3, 0 to 1, x cubed minus x. So that's minus 3 x to the 4 over 4 minus x squared over 2. When x is equal to 1, a fourth minus a half minus a fourth, it's another 3 fourths. That's area 2. So the total area is 3 fourths plus 3 fourths, which is 3 halves. Okay. But for the area 1, um, Shouldn't the top have been the three fourths minus zero? For this area one, the integral yeah. is from minus one to zero. No, I mean, when you do the f of x minus g of x part. Okay, so when x is zero, this is zero. And when x is negative one, this is a fourth minus a half. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Got it. 
Sí, sí. Other questions? No, I don't have any at the moment. Okay. So um, you're the only person online, so we're going to quit for the morning. Uh, okay. Remember, if you have questions in the course of the day, today only, instead of meeting at three, we're going to meet at five. Okay. So um, I'll be available on Zoom in the afternoon session at five o'clock. Okay, and um, when are you, you gonna post the next um, problem sessions? Oh, the problem sessions are uh, always uh, ten o'clock and three o'clock, and that's uh, Monday through Thursday. No, I know. I mean, on YouTube, the problem sessions. Oh, um, I'm going to try and do it actually as soon as I log off right now. Um, to the extent that I can find the uh, video recordings, some of the rec some of the I have all the lectures up, but I don't have all of the problem sessions. So whatever I can find, I'll post right away. All right. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye.